Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, it's really fun to do these, and in the description I include uh, something exciting that some people that are interested in localization might be interested in. A lot of what I know about localization and translation comes from um, a place called Legends of Localization, who have so far published two books about extensive uh, localization projects, including Earthbound, one of the first major localized games, and it's really interesting. Legends of Localization is a really great website. They recently put up, if you love a good laugh at some bad translations, there's a good, there's a fresh new article that I'll also link that will give you all the chuckles and turtles you need regarding some really shitty translations. It's great. You know, how about, how about, how about I give you a sneak peek? How about, how about we take a sneak peek? Just to, just to get our appetizers going. Just remember, what happens when people like me don't actually give a shit? <laughs> the forest suits you. I look like a for fairy in the forest. It means you are a clown. Like, I think this just says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> Although these aren't too bad, actually. <laughs> this one's great, though. Hey, you! What? In fact, good friends. Like, that's the kind of stuff that happens if I don't pay attention and, 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 and watch my tongue. Let's get Google Translate out, because we're going to need some translations, and let's find where I left off, which I think is like 700 and something. We're making slow progress, but that's what translation is. It's slow. Someone's going to have to do a second pass of all this. Like, holy shit! Is there a lot of work involved? But I never said it was going to be easy. Um, so some people might be wondering, hey, listen, I noticed that sometimes sentences look very similar, and sometimes you have to change them, and sometimes things are just kind of weird. Um, well, how's that? Well, the thing with Dutch is, Dutch is, has the same Germanic roots as English does, but during uh, a certain part, France, French became like the fancy pants language, so a lot of Dutch people started saying French things, and so France sort of leaked into the language. It's worse in Belgium, but here... Yeah, sometimes you start dealing with those problems. You have all these sentence structures and things that just don't work. Like... Uh, what did like yeah we use SVP sometimes which means s'il vous plaît which is like AUB which is like please you know that kind of stuff like something snuck in and uh, it, it it doesn't come up much we're now also at the part where we start having more conversations and dialogue which is good for me because fuck I love conversations and dialogue it's one of my strongest suits is making people sound like people when they talk so let's go and translate I just you know. also another update was released like apparently getting this shit set up is a bit of a pickle um, the funny thing is, the example they showed, I haven't seen. Like, apparently some of the original texts are sometimes uh, pro improperly encoded, so special characters are acting up. So if you see any, give me a heads up. I should have updated everything so it only really appears in this one. And this is the only one we're looking at. Mm, unfamiliar ceiling. Just for a moment, I wonder. Hmm. Also, I'm planning to do Adin and Sebastian last because they are the best chapters. They are the happiest chapters. Because for all intents and purposes, Adin's two endings aren't bad. No, neither of them are particularly... No! And um, Sebastian's chapter is just a whole bunch of chuckles and chortles. Not to mention the fact that Sebastian's very uh, self-consistent, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, you might say, why not do the true or the secret ending? Because the secret ending is going to require me to make a whole bunch of fucking passwords, which is going to be a bitch... Um, yeah, so I'm going to take the easy option here. Thank you very much. Also, I'm recording this in sweet 60 FPS, just for your pleasure. Uneasy. I got a term for that, but I don't think it's going to... Yeah, this is not going to work well. I'm also going to say of oh, full, because that works a bit better. Het is toch plafond? Met een D. Ja, ja, ja. Ceiling. Yep, with a D. Okay, so lost is a little bit... I wonder where I was. What I really want to... Like... I don't know if I can translate that properly. That's just me, but... I want something better for, for Devault. But I don't have... Um, I don't even know what the source sounds like. A synonym book, I guess. Oh, fucking hell. 
Does this one provide the source? Ah, oh, it does provide the source. Okay. Vertvald. Because I want a good one for this one. That has a little bit more edge to it. The fuck? Oh, because it hasn't actually looked it up. Whoops. Quite. Yeah, I want to use that one, but that doesn't really work. Um. See, the words I want to use have subtly nuanced meanings, and they don't work too well. I think I'm just going to do it literally then. Literal then. I like how it mentions a good stretch. It leaves a lot open to the imagination. Do you do squats, jumping jacks? Or do you stretch those calves? Hmm. I'm impressed, by the way, that the portal is literally visible from the from the place like this. Like, that's a... I don't know. And why would you build one at the peak of the hill? Like, I know it's there accidentally, but... Wasn't it, like, buried or something? Like... <laughs> man, something about that portal just doesn't fit right with me. So, I actually did take a couple of liberties here. After a night full of unruly dreams, um, I was greeted by an unfamiliar ceiling. It's just a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a writing edge. Making it, making it sound a little bit more interesting than it is. Although, I guess it does imply some things. It's not the kind of implication that's going to be annoying. Like, you don't want to imply factual statements. Like, uh, a character's feelings. You don't want to imply uh, lore. You can, however, imply subtle nuances to a situation if they don't, like, affect the lore or the character feelings. And here it's like, oh, well, it sort of, Im it changes the implication of what the ceiling is doing, but it doesn't really matter at all. Like, this, the, 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 the context is the same. I need to watch out before I start wrecking shit. Also, I really wonder what this is. Is this, like, literally a second? Oh. Oh! So it uses labels. Hmm. <laughs> Insert skip menu here. Yeah, you might notice that uh, we're going to get a lot of cool little background details. Dismiss, skip, yeah. It's, I love this. Like, all these commented out little bits we sometimes stumble upon are all things that used to be, or were going to be in the game, but got cut out. So we get to get a look behind the scenes, which I already do it because I extracted the fucking archive file and then looked into that, and that's pretty fucking cool to do. By the by, also, this space should not be here. Let's just go see at the translating. I want a good word for this. So this is again, I'm taking a little bit of liberty because, you know, why not give it a little extra shine and spark after some... after some oofening in. I inspect... 
I sh briefly inspected the room, fully lit by the early sun. I'm just going to remove that because that's a little bit flutty. Okay, yeah, uh, in the verta, uh, in the distance, out the window, I saw the portal proudly posed on top of a small hill. I like the term pose. Just adds an impression that the portal's flexing. Mm. Now we got a big, big, beefy, beefy chunk. Let's go see what we're dealing with today. Getting ready. I noticed something lying on the table. What's the note? Let me look there. Okay. Long was on home phone. Why the hell would he give us a, I guess he would want us to be contactable. Like, that's... Like, wouldn't our character be like, why the hell did he leave two numbers? Couldn't he just leave his mobile phone number or something? Like, I don't know. Like, he said they're technologically comparable. You'd think they'd have, like, mobile phones or something. Delivery food and other necessities. Why? <laughs> like, I don't know. There's something about that that just sits a little bit off. I just realized I'm going to have to capture the nuances of an extremely complicated social engagement in end scenarios. Fuck. Like, all the things that come down to this. Because this is a, a fucking novel, and the whole point is character interaction, I have to capture very vague nuances. And I can't reference specific things. I have to just capture these characters are very disappointed in how much of a dick you are. I do wonder what a dragon plumber would look like. Do they wear overalls or not? Delivery services. Um, so you might notice this. If you have, if you've been paying attention, this is very different sentence-wise than what the original text is doing because it just reads better. Um, like you could, I, I'm taking some liberties here, but again, I'm trying to capture the original feeling and the original idea. Other than that, I'm taking all the liberties I can to make this sound better, because it's not just. It's not just making it sound better language-wise, but sometimes adding a little bit of spizzazz just makes the text read better in general. Like, this getting ready to know something lying on the table, it was the note, I don't know. Like, I can't directly translate that without a complication, so I'm just going to say, okay, just, dire just directly go to the, to the note being mentioned, and then mention, the oh, that's Remy's note. On which I, oh, fuck, first, that needs to be attached, and that needs to be an S, because it's plural. Okay, so let's get to plurals, because I meant, didn't mention this. Feats. Plural of feats, which is a bicycle, is feetsen. But for some reason, it's not numbers, number, number, it's not numerun, it's numbers, numbers. So sometimes we do EN, and sometimes we do uh, just a straight old-fashioned S. Um, I don't know what the rule behind that is. We can look it up, but I don't think it's that interesting. It's just something that you think about. Let me actually look it up. Nederlands. Meervoud. Regels. Meerkoet. That's like that black bird with the white spots on his face. Let's have a look. Yeah, here we go. C, S, or E, N. Like, what does it do? Oh my god! Here's a lovely set of rules for you. Let me read them for you so you can have some fucking... Oh god, the apostrophe too. Oh, that's that's if it ends in a vowel, yeah, because you want to preserve the vowel's tense. Yeah, here you got this. Yeah, then it's fine because it's the, the short E. Yeah, yeah, okay, so... Oh, f Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, okay, so, 
here's something that comes up a bunch of times. When it refers to a person, it's with an S, which is why these, like the famous person, uh, the pensioned person, uh, the working person, it, it gets an N. Let me just read these rules for you. Uh, nouns that end in a single vowel, nouns that end in an un in an unstressed vowel combination, nouns that end in an unstressed exit using E L E M E N E R E R D A A R or A A R D or um. <laughs> nouns that end in a stressed exit of er or phone. Fuck. Wait, does that mean it's telef? No, I think that's not stress. Telephones. Telephones. It is. Whoa. <laughs> Titles or occupations that end in or or ear. What? Words from other languages whose plural ends in an S in the original language and names of letters. <laughs> my fucking God, man. These fuck. Oh my God. Here, it goes into the... St God fucking damn it. The majors. My... How... Why would you make it this complicated? Here's some funny rules with Dutch. Hope you vomit. Uh, I forgot. That goes there. That goes there. Remember, composites are very important in Dutch because everything just gets slammed together like a banana peel. I'm going to check that all for a spell check at some point. So, here's a problem, and I'm going to fix this. He was certainly thought of everything, even though even though what? Oh, oh yeah, because it like implies even though I know. This though doesn't work. This doesn't make any sense. Why would you say even though? Like, uh, what? Like this implies something bad has happened. Like, this is not a good thing. This is not a good thing. No, he thought of everything. Now I'm thinking about dragon plumbers? What? Like, I'm gonna say is Vardor, which means uh, is his consequence. And now I was thinking about what a dragon plumber might look like. Okay, so this is mostly the same. You might notice that Dragon Plumber is, like, just attached. Um, it also is, like, um, it's... What the fuck's that version called? Like, this is both the plural and, like, a dragon's thing, you know? So while I was preparing a table day, I saw a note on the table. The note was the one that I earlier, in which some numbers were mentioned. Numbers for his work and home number, blah, 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 blah. It's very simple. My musings! <laughs> Simple as that. My thoughts were interrupted by the doorbell. Mm. This is most of the same. I say new instead of uh, another. Because it's, uh, it's, it's, I don't know, it's got a little bit more sh uh, sh to it. Now we get to a slight anachronism. This sentence does not appear in your first playthrough, but it's still here because that's how the fucking translation files dump themselves. Dumpity, 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 dump fuck. Uh, this is also the part where I have to go to Steam. I have to go to the groups, and I'm going to see you in a moment. Because I need to put this there. Um, these sections show up billions of times, and they need to be kept congruent. Um, but I don't want to show you the forms, because I don't know how much secrecy is there, but uh, see you in a moment when I get... Actually, I'm going to translate this first, and then I'm going to do that.
character selection. That's hard to do because seeing character doesn't make a lot of sense. Like I want to say person, but that doesn't work well either. Let's see if character provides us with a proper word to use. No, I want or like like a person. Like I. Don't, I So I'm going to call it the date selection menu, because that's really the best I can think of right now. Emenu! <laughs> and yeah, it mentioned all kinds of uh, advanced. So this is uh, regular. So yeah, this is very fancy. Oh, no, 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 I'm going to call it the Offsprak, uh, like the appointment selection menu. Because <laughs> that sounds super fancy. And it's like, it looks like you've seen this before. Want to go forward to picking a date? Winky, winky, nudge, nudge. It's a little more sassy, sassy. Like, this is the sassiest. Oh, man, this is the sassiest system. Mm. Ooh, spankity, spankity is where this comes out to. Hmm, how are we going to translate this? Let's give it a little bit of spankity, spankity, sassity, sassity. Yeah, here, here I still use you, and here I said, yeah. So, I, I don't know. I guess... I guess I'm... S hmm, this is very important. I guess I guess the way I'm going to do it is sassiest system. Like, sassiest system is a lot more s slick about it. Like, here the U is dropped. Like, ah, we're buddies. But here it's like, ah, we're buddies. It's very difficult to capture that nuance. Because you can save you and me some time. Is what I'm going to write here. Just, just instead of saying it could save us some time, it could save you and me. Just to make that little extra connection of like, dude. So here, I do something very flat Dutch. Because this is the sassiest of systems. And naturally, the sassiest system gets everything she wants. Um... So, the, the the thing I said here, so you've seen this before, you can look at it again, or you can save me, you and me some, tr some trouble, and just go to the choosing a date. This is extremely fucking flat, to say this. Because it says to go through to the date choosing. If you say that, like, you're one, you're basically speaking flat Dutch. Because you are now mixing random nouns together for the fuck of it. It is a Dutch as fuck thing to take random nouns and stick them together. It's why a Dutch uh, dictionary is never truly complete. Because you can always just take those words and mix them together. Um, if... Uh, just gonna look it up. Holton, Totten, Tenten, Totten... What's again? Holton... Holton, Totten... I want you to look at this fucking word. And tell me that this is a not an odd word. <sighs> Isn't the one Houghton Totten Tenten Competent Ostelling? I think Houghton Totten Tenten Competent Ostelling is the one that everyone keeps talking about. Ah oh, no, then it then it splits up. Ah, oh, I thought Houghton Totten Tenten Competent Ostelling was correct. Ah, oh, now I'm sad. But when I was making an edit, oh here it is. Like I said, oh no, this is some other language. Fuck, I was hoping this was Dutch. But yeah, when composite words are involved, you can get some pretty fucking mad words. Houghton Totten Stot. Oh, I see what this is. Ratten, laten, kitten. I think I can almost read what that is, actually. Almost! But no cigar. Okay, so the funny thing also is, this one is just saying, listen, this is, these are the options. I'm not going to ask you a question, this is just what I'm offering. Go. And this is very easy to translate as, so als u wilt. The problem is, this doesn't capture the nuance of sassy system, but that's fine. That's a problem with English, because if this was in English, yeah, like, that nuance would be much... If this was also existent in, in English, it's a lot easier to capture the nuance, but I can't. Um, so I'm gonna throw these the fuck on the... Oh, it's Sebastian! Ooh! And there we go. That took a second. Uh... 
don't know if if you put a hyphen it works like that. Yeah, hello, hello. It's very simple, similar. Player name. So this is very similar, but it doesn't have like the event. Yeah. Sebastian for Dolo Fine. That comes from uh that fucking Shark Tale movie, and it's a really fucking snazzy thing to listen to. Like I'm impressed at a dub as something that's that usually happens. That happens a lot. Like I think last time I also did one of those. The problem is I don't know if escort works. Because the joke's kinda like ah escort. <laughs> I should look that up. Let's look it up. Uh, dictionary escort. Now, the funny thing is, if you go to English dictionary, it usually also features. No, not here. Although I can go to the Netherlands. Oh yeah. <laughs> In case you don't know what this says, prostitute. Although I've usually seen the term escorte. Interesting. Like, here it doesn't even mention that an escort could be like... But yeah, here the, the thing fucking works. But isn't it like escorta? That's escrote. That's my escrot! Oh! Oh, that's great! Oh, I can make a great pun with that! Because if it's escorta, you're you're an armed guard. If it's escort, you're like a fucking prostitute. Prostitute. pra 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 prostitute Fuck! This works out better than I thought it did. Nice to meet you. I've never really translated that phrase like that before. I'm also going to get back to what exactly I wrote because it's kind of cute. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So here's what I actually translated. I'm Sebastian, and I'll be your escort. I mean escort. You're, 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 you're escort. <laughs> like he's trying to correct it. Ah, oh, that's cute. This fucking works great because it's such a... It's a joke you might not immediately get, but then he's like, oh, Fuck! And then he immediately tries to additionally bring it up to like, oh, I'm, I'm just here to help you out. <laughs> Man, this works great. This is why you look words up, because maybe you learned something you didn't know before. Because like, even if you spoke a language for your life, doesn't mean you know everything. I wonder what kind of smaller he is, because Remy does look like he's not that big. He just looks like he's voluminous. So here I uh, uh, I split it up because again getting too runny on with sentences it starts to look very awkward because how a Dutch sentence structures work. So this dragon was smaller than Remy, and when he nervously extended his arm to me, I noticed that he was walking on his hind legs. Uh, in contrast to Remy, he had hands with uh, fingers, uh, wrist, and everything. You know. I'm going to add this. Like, adding this and sort of unites the concept. And now we get to a choice that I need to fucking read. 
<sighs> Don't shake his hand. I like how you get a fucking evil point for this. So this is your evil points, and that's how your evil ending is decided. Um, you earn them at stupid places, you earn them at interesting places. There's so many ways to get them. Bumps, 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 barrel built. No, those are not good. Knobble, Knobble's a good one. So here I say, even, like, I'm, I'm slowing this up a bit. Uh, I took his hand and shook it. But even with my, even with my gentle grip, I could feel the bumps and, and scales on his skin. I don't know, works a bit better. Mostly because if you split it up, it, it, it gives us... I don't know. It just works a bit better to me. And here we got, again, two generic answers that are both basically the same. Although, because this is the evil answer, I could give it a little bit more of a spice. Nah. Ah, this is really direct translation, nothing too interesting to say about this particular sentence. Just like, nice to meet you, translation, and where are you taking me? I could say so, like with the Z, but I don't think that works, because here's like, and, you know, let's, like, trying to move on the conversation instead of focusing on things. Oh my god, I just fucking love this. The, the, uh, the change is very minute. But there are some things... I like how you don't mention anything other... Like, the weird thing is that you mentioned taking the hat, but you don't mention smoochy-smooching it. So here, I add a couple more. I add individual, and I add rough, and a soft kiss. A lot of adjectives here, but it really adds to that sense of sensuality to include them. Here it's just like, ah, I felt some things, and here's like, hmm. Smoochy smooch. I like how he says straight to business, business after you smooch his ass. Although I guess it's referring to this, which is probably why the line is standardized. I also get the impression that the person who made the original story isn't a native English speaker. Which I say, but I'm the person who gets away with that all the fucking time, so... <laughs> Straight to business. Can I translate that and get a proper... Recht op zaak. Yep. Fuck, I'm gonna look this up. I actually just remembered one that works very well. Adam Hendrai. I never heard of that one, actually. That's interesting. Oh! Well, this also allows you to look for sayings and stuff. Huh. That's cool. Oh, wow, it's actually keeping track of all my... of, of recent lookups. Um, I'm highly interested to look for it. Because I don't know that many good sayings. Ah, let's just go for it. Okay. 
So they have phones, why do I have to personally visit? I mean, they do give us a generator, but I mean, they could just set, set that down to Reza or something. I don't know about this one, Off it's I think that's written together. The fuck are these? Oh my god, these are all like from local areas. That's awesome. I'm just gonna do it loose then. So I like the implication of Sebastian's trying to be formal, but he's also kind of stumbling over it. Like, he's clearly a hockey. The thing about accents is that they're very hard to translate in general. Especially Japanese, there's like billions of accents. Direct translation, nothing interesting to say. You might notice it's a lot shorter because... I don't know. Uh, I'll just add something here. Ah, this is fine, actually. The general idea is still there. You have news for you or something. Mm. There we go. Hmm. There we go, another... Yeah, there he is. So these are just text bits that show up a lot. Unlike these bits, which are all copied out by RenP. Or is it RenPy? I guess it's RenPy because it's Python. Okay, uh, let's move on. Not to waste too much time, we're only 37 minutes in. It's basically the same thing. Nothing too much to say. Yeah, just a flat translation there. This is hard to translate. We got the occasional stares a bit hard. Let's see if Google Translate has any particular inspiration to offer me. Because I don't care if it actually offers me a good direct translation. But I just need something to think about. This works fine. It's a bit klutzy, I think. Hmm. And now we get to some really heavy dialogue areas, which is fine. Oh, wow! to finally see another human face around here. What? Oh, okay, so that's just, yeah, that's a trend. That's, that's uh, a rewrite. So that was the original line. Why would you keep the original line? And I guess it's really good for, like, referencing of, like, the original feeling and then seeing the translation and then thinking, hmm, I wonder what, what I'm going to put here. Funny thing is, I can keep hey. Hey. Remember that from Sonic 06? The man who goes, hey. <laughs> I, want, I want that fucking quote to be on the box art, just a guy saying, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that the regular talking sound? There's so many better ones you can have, like, hey, or hi, instead of this very flat and boring, hey.
So this uh, works fine. Um, there are some slight tweaks, a couple of tiny details that have changed, but nothing too major. It all still works together. Split of the sentences, because again, I just don't think that having huge run-on sentences is very beneficial to the reading. It makes sentences... Like, if you make one huge sentence, it starts to become klutzier, especially in Dutch where you have those surrounding verbs. You have to do, like, wait, what does this verb refer to? And who, what? Like here, I say another dragon, and immediately go to this. So, so it works. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Direct translation! Yay! And it's exactly the same length. Whoa! How true that is. I like how uh, it doesn't pick that one up. I also notice that my sound is all over the place. Sorry for that. I am also open for music recommendations, although I don't think they'll help me much. <laughs> they'll help you, though. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. So, the translation we have right now, it's, it's good to finally see a human face. Um, another human face. Uh, I guess this is fine, though. Because you can't just say another human face. Like, the implication is sort of the same, I think. I think. I don't know. This is clumsy, but it works fine. It's a it's a fine sentence, but it needs some polish. Referring, this is fine. Direct translation, ish. This is more like yes, yeah, like certainty. It has a little bit more conviction behind it. By the way. Let's pull that one through Google Translate. I'm kind of curious. Trouwens. Yeah, that's a good one. Tussen haakjes, onderweg, apropos. Fucking apropos. What the fuck is apropos that has to do with any of this? I think we're tussen haakjes. Okay, you follow some bodyguard instead of like an escort. So this is a slight change of the original sentence. It says, don't waste any words on him, he doesn't talk much. Um, basically the same, but uh, it's a little more it's a little more on point. Like, don't bother with him. It's like, just don't waste any words on him. Don't, don't, don't give a shit. It works. So this sentence is a little more implicit. It's not, like, specific about that he's always grumpy. It says, yeah, he always looks like that. And yes, he's as grumpy as he looks. So it's like, ah, he's always grumpy. It's a little more clever. But, I don't know. Being clever is sometimes not a good idea. you got to be careful with that when you're translating. you got to be sure that what you're doing is very implicit. And not to... Yeah, not to say here. Two dragons exchange. Okay. Fuck, man. I thought there were going to be, like, more options now, but it's going to take a while. Exchange words. I'm really caught over what the fuck that verb's supposed to be. What the fuck is tenebris? What is tenebris? Daster. Oh, in that sense.
Okay, I want to translate locked eyes, because that's a good phrase to use here. Oh, fuck! Translate, please help me out here. This is a really clumsy sentence to try and translate. How about we not do this one? Now nah, we gotta do this one. I wanna do them all in order. Um I just want to find fucking words. Words. That's a nice one. The problem here is the sentence is very clumsy to begin with. The true dragon says words are the case with the large numbers dragon Sebastian search towards me. Fuck what a sentence this is to read. <laughs> so the fun the reason I'm saying this is you can just say Aghdam as like nice to meet you. Um it's a bit short and brief, but considering that, you know, Maverick's a big scary person, you'd probably not be like trying to say too many words. <laughs> I'm keeping it nice and brief, because, like, Maverick doesn't say many words. He doesn't say many words. Ah, it's all... Eh, whatever. Don't expect any special treatment, and it's fine. Like, that's all he says. Like, it's nice, it's brief, it's straight to the point. He fucking skips who's giving him special treatment. He's just like, no, no, I don't want to talk. Direct translation here. It's a nice one to directly go in. I like these ones. I also need to remember that sometimes fucking exclamation points and question marks exist. Messiah, that's a term I haven't used much. Messiah. Hayland? I don't know that one. Messiahs. Oh, Messiahs. So I'm splitting this up. So you're not going to tell me you haven't said this for influx, uh, looks. how everyone looks at you as if you're the new size? Like, he's like, he's being a bit more verbal because he's like, Jesus fucking Christ, you fucking idiot. So here, because this is kind of a fucking weird sentence, is, no, yes, but I thought... You know, like, what the fuck just happened? Oh, fuck, I'm scrolling and zooming in and out. No! I keep my scroll the same.
By the way, Licht is light, and Licht is like a version of lying. Um, and uh, they sound the same. Again, fucking G exists in multiple forms, because fuck it! God damn it. Also, sch and sch SCH, if it's this... Oh, no, no, wait. Plasties. Yeah, plasties. For example, plasties. Now it's... F Jesus fucking Christ, Dutch! Get your shit together! So this sentence is a bit different. Uh, the sentence structure is a bit different. You're you're making a big deal out of it. We've done nothing. Is essentially what that says. We're to do what we agreed to, and then we disappear. If it was if it was up to me, you wouldn't even be here. But you insisted that you were. It's a bit clumsy, it's a bit klutzy, but it really conveys that feeling of Jesus fucking Christ, which is really the entire emotion of the situation right now. I love how it immediately escalates stakes. It doesn't sit. Jesus Christ, I can't imagine being fucking, uh... Yeah, being, uh... Being Sebastian. Like, Sebastian's not gonna stop Reza or, uh, Maverick. He's just fucked. Unless he has a breath weapon, he's just like, No, I can't do anything. I'm a sad boy! There you are. I was waiting for you. I like how it's interesting that we never meet the guys from production either. <laughs> they never show up. <laughs> they never <laughs> showed up to work for the entire period we were there. Wow. Okay, okay, it's fun. You can write it like this. You can write it like this. You can write it like this. Fucking pick one, Dutch! Okay, okay, I get it. Calm. Let's go inside and get everything done, right? Like, that, it's, 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 I don't know. It feels a bit more, yeah. Although he does sound very strict and serious. Let's take a look. He's normal. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Sebastian normal, he's in right. Okay, yeah, he's butting in. Let's remove this at the very least. Okay, okay, I get it. Calm, calm. If I say good, it guts a bit more. Not good. I don't know what this means, what it does. I, uh, I could look it up. It probably just clears the scene of all standing details or something. Who even goes first? There we go. Pretty direct translation, nothing specific. Direct translation, nothing to say. Bit more straight to the point. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. I thought we were gonna be two production. Yeah, attach them together because it works a bit better. Like, 
ironically, I'm, I'm removing a sentence here because it works better that way. Engineering is not one I uh, frequently translate. Let's take a look. Balkan, the machine about engineer's work. Engineer's work. What is it spelled? Engineer's work. Let's take a quick look. Engineer's work. Is my pleasure like a mutual thing? Hmm. Gotta clean up the text a bit. For the most part, it's still pretty on point, so nothing to say. Pretty, uh, pretty on point. Although I do need to put some uh, apostrophes above these. The ones that start low go up, because, uh, you know, it specifically refers to one. Um, let me actually look it up. Ing. If I'm correct, it should say no, please stop doing it. Here you go. This is what I mean. When you use these particular E's, it refers to one. Specifically one. Uh, it's un genoegen. It's like, it, it refers to one, but it's like, eh, it's, it's just a pleasure. But if it's like one, if it's a pleasure, you have to put that. You have to. Um, yeah, it's like it, it's it's a big indicator. It's because one and un and a are just the same word, so you have to figure something out. I'm giving Rez a bit more of an edge. He's like, perfect, give it here. He's like, yeah, come on, let's get this doing, because Reza's already on the clock. So I'm gonna give him an extra exclamation point too. Like he's like, come on, give it here, give it, give it, give it, give. It. Let's get the fuck out of here. Exact same sentence, although it looks a bit different because it's, it's a little small to me. I guess the reason she says not to drop it is because those things can explode. Should I mention that? Like, I could just squeeze that in there. I think I'm just gonna like normally you don't you don't say take extra care like you don't say be careful. That's such an English thing to say though. This works better. And uh, be extra careful, basically what it says. Direct translation, basically, nothing to say. Like I said, when it comes to the dialogue, it's a lot more straightforward and flat. It's the big fancy stuff.
I'm removing the O. Just as works. Just works with. Do you have it with you? Of course. Let's see what I think. There you go. That's all there is to say. How the hell does that thing even work with like dragon fingers? That's a question I really want answered. Because dragon fingers have scales on them, which naturally would interfere with their ability to interact with objects. Because scales are more armor than fingers and skin are. Are they greasy? Because if they are, I guess you could sort of excuse that and say they're more useful. I guess they would be usable by robot people, considering the time loss zone they're from. Hmm. Questions. Basically the same, it's like, give me a moment to test it. Instead of giving this thing a test run. Because, I don't know, just sounds a bit better. Like, she's, like, excusing herself. Lit up. Okay, so here that's shown a bright light when her fingers dance over the interface that made... Oh no, fuck. Now the cut doesn't work because now it looks like it's referencing. Oh, whatever. I'm going for direct translation, I guess. Nothing too special to say there. Uh, I don't know what to do your blood. Okay, there we go. She works in biology and R&D, and she's the one to allow to accept the fucking... Jesus fucking Christ, what the fuck's going on around here? What the fuck? Man, I need some red letter media. Ah, oh, Maybe I'm gonna watch that audio tape, even though I don't have the movie, because fuck it. I already translated, by the way, but I'm gonna do it again. Nah, I'm gonna go with trans. So, this is very hard to do, but I'm going to go with, can I get some help for some tests? From you, like, she's immediately like, can I get some help with some tests? From you, like, specifying that she wants his, yours. I only need to drop a lot, so it's pretty tr tr direct. Yeah. I'm going to keep these attached, because, I don't know, it just feels better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is a, a bit more fancy, fancy pants. Uh, I have to adjust that because saying flink is a bit more, yeah, it's like I work in biology and human blood is very interesting. For my, I'm not specifying to us. It's like just for her because she says she works in biology. Why the fuck would you bring up to us? Um, and yes, you get to look at the research afterwards. Okay, let's move on. Um... Oh man, I feel so bad for Anna. She's just like, listen, I just want a drop of blood. And here's like, I thought you wouldn't mind. So we're in a time loop here. This only happens if you've already been through it once.
Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no! It's time for achievements. Fuck. Soon we'll have the white ghoul! Fantastic. So these are all direct translation, not much to say about it. Um Like this is like awesome, that's a shame. So really it's 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 one of those weird situations in which it's like one word basically contains all the context and emotion and nuance you need. That's always fucking awesome. It's like, hey listen, you can just compress this entire sentence, this entire structure down to into a couple of words. That's always cool. And the other way around too is like, listen, we don't have a shorthand for this, so we have to extrapolate that kind of crap. Um Nothing to say here. Just more direct translations because we're in the boring part. Keeping it nice and strict. This is just fucking straight to the point. Now, please, if you would give me your hand, please. The AUB is like, it gives this, like, I think Anna's a bit of a sassy lady. Like, she's trying to be nice, so she's like, AUB, hey, she's like, s'il vous plaît, please, please, do it. Like, mm. Oh, I'm just, I'm gonna do this here then. Yeah, now it's like, it's a bit of more of an order, but, and now, hand forward, please. This, this really is that fucking thing from Futurama, isn't it? Like, why isn't that reference being mentioned? Because that's a fucking reference. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's like they also have that little thing that pricks in your hand. Although I think it comes from both sides, so it doesn't really count. Dude, where the fuck would you put it? Like, your hand is pretty fucking occupied by hand stuff. Even, like, between your two, f your thumb and stuff. Like, that shit moves around all the time. You'd feel it all the fucking time. Ugh. So they put it in your armor somewhere. Ugh. I think a lot of your body moves a lot of the time, that I think about it. I don't know what the back of your hand is called. What a weird device. This is clumsy. This is gonna need a fucking red. <laughs> this is again direct translation. Not much to say. Uh, yeah, this is okay. So yeah, I'm I'm adding a bit more of a time phrase. Yeah, this is a bit more of a time phrase. That's fine. Uh. But fucking no, it's not mine. Bang. It is raced. <laughs> wow. 
whatever. Fuck you. <sighs> I guess it would be raised to... Since uh, it ends in an E, which is not in the cough skip. And the cough skip does not include any vowels whatsoever. The uh, parts that are in it are just like for the shits of it. It's all about the, the consonants. Oh fuck, I forgot I need to include the image here. So, I'm getting a little... Okay, let me just remember this. Oh no, Ublut gegeven. It's like, hey, yay, you did a thing. And he was like, why did you give Anna your blood? Like, here's like questioning, but that is really hard to convey. Um, because if I do just this, if I just do this, it's like, you give Anna your blood? Like, did you? Did you not? I don't know. It's here's a bit more on the nose. <laughs> here's a bit more on those. Nothing you do about it now. <laughs> mm. It's so fucking sassy. It's so rude about it too. You gave Anna your blood. Nothing you can do about it now. Go fuck yourself. Uh. I do love that the final sassy is not involved. It's, it's like, oh, it's so sad in some senses. And she did it all while she's fucking with that PDA too. Like, what the hell, man? Basically the same, but I'm cutting into the sentence a bit. She's like, hey, PDA works. We're done here. Keeping it nice to the point. She's like, hey, I got what I wanted. Fuck off. Oh, uh, this sounds a bit more like a pickup line, but it already does in the first place. <laughs> okay. All I can think about when I say okay is that fucking Saitama picture. Fucking... Like, this fucking picture, man! How can you ever say okay and not think of that? Like, okay. <laughs> Oh fuck, now I got it back in my head. So much fuck. I like how that guy gets his come up at some point too. See you soon. Oh, that's a fucking hard one to see. Cuz I don't think there's a direct translation for that. Uh, available. Totsin. Ah, Totsin's direct. I guess I want to add then. It's like a Totsin all version. That's fuck, that's just so old nose. Ugh. A lot of interesting. I like how you get evil points, even if you did. None there. None to say. Just, yeah, it's like really on the nose here. It's really short sentences, so there's not much you can do. Sometimes my head gets all klutzy and I keep forgetting where the fuck I am. So this is a bit more... So he says, would not do it for free. And here he, I make him say directly, there has to be something in return for that. So it's, it just works a bit better. It's a bit more like, listen... We're doing deals here. Let's do deals. Okay. 
So this is a bit more... I like this one, because it conveys that sense... So it's like, yeah, okay, it's your body, your choice, but we have no idea what they're going to do with it. It's like it really tries to make you paranoid, which is the original point, is that he's like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. He's like, ah, I can't stand these days. Ah, let's go for it. He's all ready to go. I want to say around the corner, because that's the thing you just say. I want to say, I want to do the other one. Like, Rick is a term used. Like, people, a lot of people call it Eric here, and there's called Rick. Like, go, it, it would, hmm. Like, that's an English thing. Mothers. Even Emric. Nah, I'll just stick with it. It's like it's trying to be cute. He's just like, I don't have anything against the bite. Straightforward, simple, straightforward, blah, 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 blah! None to say or fuck. And now I gotta pull out that fucking other thing I did a bit back. Um, because... Oh, no! You can see all this crap. Doesn't matter. I don't think it really fucking matters. This stuff is secret. How the fuck are you gonna get here? You could, like, you could literally just ask the guy. <sighs> Like, as you wish, I could just straight up nick. I can pick this nick. Picnicking is a fun word. Uh, what is it again? I think it's just uh, gepicknicked. But some people say picknicked. Or gepicknicked. Like, it's just a fucking hell word. It takes all these warnings. <laughs> wow! If you want to... <laughs> using the skip buttons like a civilized person. Oh, my fucking god. Sassy. Sass, sass, sass. Wow, and actually, oh, this is cute. It's like here, it's like between you, it's like no. Gives you the fish. Da fish! I guess this is if you only did, didn't do the blood thing. Or something like that. There we go. Yeah, this is really straightforward. They could have just done this with fucking variables if you know what you're doing. I decided to use a different term just to give it a little extra spice. Make it the police work instead of just investigation. Add a little bit of spice, just a little bit of spice, a little, little baby. Let's, let's add a little pinch of salt. Mm, 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 some flavor. Add some flavor to that pie. Don't put salt on it. No! Why did you salt the pie? Because now it's got flavor. It's flavor town. And then, then the fucking that fuck. What's his name? Remus? Rims? God, I forgot his name. How did I forget his name? No! I couldn't remember his name. Ramses. Ramses? Why would it be Ramses?
Yeah, that's a pretty direct translation. It's kind of interesting that they refer to it as a restaurant here. Hmm. Why are you saying on my tail? Basically, I'm saying the same thing. It's like, I know what they're saying. Okay. Um, I'm going to add that. Add that little extra sass. Here's like, exactly. And I don't swallow that shit about safety. This is not shit, by the way. This is just like, you know, junk. Ragu. Ragout. Ragout. Which to me always sounded like music. Like ragtime. How the fuck am I supposed to translate an ellipses? Like, tell me that, Batman. Na 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 Batman. I'm gonna show you something, but don't tell anyone that I'm showing you this. Uh, let's see character graphics. Fuck, they're not here. Oh yeah, because this is only like the text character graphics, You're, like the whole clerk thing. You have to translate. Like, fuck the credits too. Ugh, I don't know how the fuck do that. Uh, okay, so they're not here. Quick access. <laughs> No, not here. No, they're in files. VOD is where I keep my VODs. Welcome to my files. This is the RPA tool. The character graphics. This is a graphic you never get to see. This is the original Adin graphic used for Adin when you first see her. It looks horribly off-model, by the way. Like, look at this. I want you to look... Like, I'm not, I'm not... Not a problem with the quality. I just want you to look at this and see, one, her head just looks not like she's invested in this. I do like the background. That's cute. But... I don't know. Like, if you compare these two, I can see why they changed it. The main reason this was used, though, is originally I think they just wanted to keep everything to that to the first date and situation, so they just needed a graphic to fill up some some crap. And someone is talking to me. Great. I'm being the naughtiest boy. Um. <laughs> Wait a fucking second. Over, 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 off. Fuck, over. Nay, over. Over! Yeah, but that's manly. I need to know if there's like a... Okay, so there's no female form of it for some reason. But if I go with Kellner... I mean, it's not a major concern, but fuck, I need to make sure that I'm doing this right. How does she look like a like a waitress, though? Like, other than the fucking notepad, there's nothing that says she's a waitress. No, don't go to my fucking wad file. Stay out of there. There's nothing there for you. Especially since I don't, I, I kind of already forgot where I was with that. Oh fuck. You can say waiter, you can say Kellner, there's a lot of words for it. Bedinda. Oh, uh, fuck, now I have to translate the term wavering because I forgot I have to translate this crap. Waver. Let's see if Wikipedia has an answer for me. No, they're just called Wavern. Wow! Oh. Oh. It's because of video games.
basically the same. Uh, we were approached with someone who looked like the waiter's guy. It's just, just really on point. Although I, I, I put the resemblance to a bat in the sentence itself. Because Dutch loves those descriptors! Because you can just say anything and put achtige after it, and it just immediately works. I think we're about done, though. Um, let's move on. How about we just do the cafe scene? That's not too long, is it? It actually is very long. Fuck me. I like how Rez is just like, ooh, I'm quiet. I'm a quiet boy. I like how this one is like, oh, that's so that's so mean. I thought that was the nice guy option, but it's not. Oh. Again, this is pretty on point. That's a good one. Is really what this is. I added a little laugh. And I also need to add an E here because good is good. And hoot is hoot. Get it? A dine? She works at a dine. I don't think anyone ever says establishment. Let's take a look. Yeah, nobody ever says establishment. They usually just say, eh, it's our cafe, it's our restaurant or something, you know. I don't know if that's an English thing or if that's just a translator thing that happened. Just a coffee for me. I would love... Oh, man, it, it doesn't do the vegetarian thing. Because at some point, it's, it, it mentions vegetarian as a trait, and I imagine that these two would ruin that. They're usually, at least there's like several parts in Remy's campaign where like your ver vegetarianism comes up, and it never comes up ever again. Ever. We're going to notice eventually, but fuck it. Fuck, no, no! Literal translations. Rurai, scrambled egg. Fuck, bacon. Bacon's a problem, because... Bacon! Oh no, it's spec. I forgot, spec is a term. I thought about ham. Um, ham is hum, and sometimes people use that for spec. Even though it's different. I like how they just serve fish. Fish! You want the fish? No, they would say where you say where it does something lie. Not sorry, when something. I mean, you could say that, but if you talk about a place, you usually say it lies somewhere. Like you say, uh, Amsterdam lies between some place lies between, I guess, Isomir and the Atlantic. Although it's usually called the Channel. It's a fucking Atlantic. Get the fuck out of here, Britain, with your channel. We're far north enough that we can say it's someplace else. The Northern Sea, I think. Actually, I don't think it's called the Northern Sea. Well, well, well. Let's look it up. Yep, it's the Northern Sea. The channel's an imagination or construct made by some liars! Lies!
So what I'm doing here is I'm slightly tweaking things. Um, just like I just said, if you look at everything from a distance, aka look at the big picture, doesn't it, doesn't it look like everything's a little bit weird? Like, why is this? Uh, if, if it's another planet or another dimension, some things aren't right, you know? I'm just gonna say logic, logical. You get me, right? Like, he, he, like Reza's really desperately trying to cling you over. He's like, come on! And just because evil mode is about being evil, uh, evil mode does give you evil mode points for being a dick to Reza. It's not about... It's not about being nice, it's about being a dick. <gasps> ah. Just messing with my phone. <sighs> How much longer has he been? Huh. <laughs> oh boy, he's like, you can sell these things and nothing happens, really. Hmm. I think the term is Leistervinken. Let's have a look-see. I guess I was redirected a couple too many times. Jesus. Yeah, Eve Stropper. It's also a thing to do with Dutch very easy. make everything you do whatever you want. <laughs> Like, it's, it's a little more... Like, I can't say more with you-know-who, or you-know-what. Like, this is... Uh, this is... Like, in English, you have to say you-know-who, and you-know-what, you-know-why. And you can just say, you know. You know. Um, that's kind of funky, and he's, he's probably listening with the eavesdropping. Uh, let's uh, take a look at this one. One on Kaiser. So this is shorter, it works. Okay. I let my eyes uh, wander, and I noticed that Maverick indeed was looking at us. Our eyes as shortly met, and I couldn't see any emotion in his. I wondered, was it really coincidence, or was he able to, or was he really listening in? Um, it just, I don't know, I think I'd read this better. It just works better if you present it like this, because again, this is a fucking run-on sentence as I ever did see one. These sentences feel so long. They try to say a lot at once, instead of, you know, providing some bite-sized chunks and varying things up a bit. Is it with or without the H? Deori. Yep. Oh, it's with an H. It's without the Y, though. This is where one of those comes up. I'm adding a little, uh, little, little figurative speech here. But otherwise, it's pretty on point. Deep in the nest, uh, we're deep in trouble. Deep in shit is really a good comparison. Again, not shit, but... I don't know, it says deep in nests. I want you to explain that to me. I guess it has to do with birds? Or or puppers? Pupper nests! Do puppers grow in nests? Pupper! So why is Reza being so quiet about this apocalypse thing? Like, I understand dragons might be hard to understand, but if Reza's like, listen, listen... 
I want to get the fuck out of here before you all die. Then at the I don't know. Like, you do it, the player character does it, and things sh come up fine. Yeah, so, shh, be quiet. I'll tell you as soon as I can. But for now, you have to play along. Because, look, we already got one of these. It's, it's pretty much on point, but it's got a little bit, little, little tiny tweaks. Pat. I don't know what to do with that. Pat, pat, pat. No, I think emphasis, this is the best one I can do. So his fingers are ticking against the box because I couldn't find any good one for this one. And you don't tick with a, with a hand, you do it with a finger. Like the God knows part kind of gets me off because that's an English thing to say and I don't think that's going to work out for us. Oh, that guy with fish, he's like, watch out, it's hot. So it is a fried fish at the very least. I'm, I feel so bad! Oh no! Scaly fish! I like how already it's implied the earth is fucked. It's like, the rest is like, God, fuck, we're fucked. So here we go to this. Uh, wait, uh, we, we, we both know how we need him. Because I don't know how to translate God knows we need him. That doesn't translate well, so I'm just going to go with we, we both know how to know. Also, fun thing with Anna is, uh, in Dutch, you say cancer as they swear a lot. You say things like, a conquer joch, of krijg conquer. So, Anna having cancer works out fine. And also, I've never typed drunk Dutch, so that's going to be fun with Bryce. Luckily, I'll be doing Anna. I think I'll be doing Remy and Anna first, because they're the sad boys, and they get Bryce, who's sort of the okay boy. They get Lorem, who's kind of the boy. And I'll do Sebastian last because he gets the eradicated. Here I'm specifying. Oh, it's the cal like I know we've only really seen two females, but come on, at least specify what kind of female it is. The female. You don't say that in fucking Dutch. You never say that in fucking Dutch. Like you can say the meisjesdrak or or the or the or the You never call someone by that. That was like a big switch for me. Four limb. I need a word for that. I need something to use for that because that's a term that gets used a lot. Four. Yeah, that's not going to work.
generally speaking, it's it's direct translations. Like this is pretty on point stuff. It's really simple. Um, really simple, straightforward. Not much to say, which is kind of sad. Because I like the ones where the direct translation is hard, but this is like just physical movement. And when it's physical movement, yeah, you really need to make special for that to be special. You really need to add some nuance. It's a little more, it's like, here your order, enjoy it. I know, it's like I imagined it would, they would say it. Which is just your welcome. Man, I just feel so bad. Oh, she's annoyed. She's like, eh, eh. <laughs> I feel so bad already, and I'm just reading this stuff. Also, I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I know when I'm gonna do the re rerun. I think I'll do it either during the Undertale thing, like when un when the Undertale anniversary rolls around, I'll pop it up, or maybe some other time. But it's not while I'm translating, because holy crap, if I have to do this while translating, this shit's gonna be wild. Which reminds me, uh. Dutch. How long are some of these things? What's the what's the biggest, fattest file I can find? Wow, actually, chapter one is the biggest, fattest file. Really? How big is this one? That's seven thousand. That's almost seven thousand. Uh, let's see. I'm up here. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of these are a lot shorter. Uh, there's a lot more options though. So. So this is a little different. To, uh, to be honest, I was skeptical about the sort of cafe, uh, sort of coffee that a that a dragon cafe would be serving. Jesus Christ, my English is starting to bleed over. I think I'm gonna have to stop soon before I start messing things up too badly. And the second run is just ninety percent picking out the English, because that's not good. Like if your translation not just picking up the English, you're a little too English. Although it goes both ways when you're bilingual. When you're too bilingual, it goes both ways, by the way. And that sucks! So, uh, yeah. So it's like, what classifies as breakfast? What What is breakfast in a dragon cafe? But otherwise, it's pretty much on point. Today's special is an odd-looking fish. Like, why the fuck are you eating a prehistoric fish? Why are you causing the butterfly effect, you motherfucker? Ah! <laughs> Hesitant, 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 uh, twijfel. Okay, so this is very different. The day special was some odd sort of fish that I've never seen before, just to add to that odd looking looks like I've never seen this before. I doubt it for a moment because the, cl the, the, the cloud of steam was thick and tight and dense, and realized that it might be better to wait a few minutes. You know, like, to some extent, I'm rewriting things, yes. I'm adding a lot of details that are there. 
But at the same time, the, the general idea is still there. Like, you can still see where it's coming from, and that's the point. I like how he says a coded message. A coded message involves a code, not hiding the message. I don't know. I don't consider invisible ink encoding. <laughs> I love how if you order the f OH NO! THE VEGETARIAN! Okay, so funny thing about MP. I don't think the game actually uses MP. Um... Let me just look up here. Yeah, okay, so it uses MP for... No, oh, it doesn't. MP is what I believe to be the archaeological layer of this of, of the old game. Uh, prior, they used MP for things, which is like multiple playthrough or something, and it's a variable. And that variable then has a save function that writes it off to somewhere. Instead of persistence, which is properly persistent as it should be, the whole point, and I love this, is that these can give you clues as to things that were supposed to exist. As you can see, vegetarian is an MP. MAGICAL CLUES! I feel like an archaeologist. Pick, pick, X, X. Again, I'm, I, I know this game well enough. I've played through it, and I've read the fucking script a bunch of times, so... When the when she brought the meal, she started talking to them, Rosa took this moment... ...and leaned in to, to whisper something. I'm taking a bit of liberty of what exactly is going on. Um, I don't know, it implies a bit more that she also started talking to them. I don't know. I just feel like it changed a lot, but I didn't really. I don't really look at it. Yeah, this is really on point. Uh, a letter, uh, like again, a letter with a coded message. You can just say a coded letter, and it works fine. The thing is, he calls the message coded, but the message is hidden, not coded. Just say fucking he's a hit. Jesus Christ, Reza, you're a fucking idiot. This is mostly the same, although mm, it's a bit, it's a bit flexed, I'd say. Uh... Fuck! Did I, did I do fish? Yeah. Yeah. The problem here is that the fish has to happen in the middle. I mean, I could say you have no mix of for your fish, but that sounds a bit weird because the whole point is it hasn't touched it. Why doesn't Sebastian come over at this point and, like, sit with you? Bit different, like, I've nowhere to remain seated, uh, steer peering out the window, thoughts were filling up in my head. Jesus Christ, there's this huge fucking load off. We're almost there! And then I can say bye. Two hours! Although these videos do great. And I love making these videos. These are great. Um, primarily because it forced me to pay some fucking attention. A lot of these things I would not have caught otherwise because I would have been too distracted. I know it's quiet. I know it's not that fun. But hey, listen. If it's quiet, suggest something. Be a sport. Be the all-American hero. Also, I learned something about Dishonored. Um, the worst ending involved... Like, in order to get to sit on the throne and not resurrect your other dude, you need to do the high chaos ending. So, we'll see about that. 
wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What the fuck do you do with the statue, though, if you don't resurrect them? What the fuck? So this is very different. Not only was the Dragon World it's, uh, itself bizarre and weird, but because of Reza, it now also had a fog of evil and danger. I can barely imagine what kind of danger it was. So, that, I don't know, it has a bit more poeticness to it. A bit more of, ooh, I'm thinking, I'm staring out the window like a dipshit! This sense is weird. Before what's too late? Uh, I took a bite out of my fish. The scent was weird, but the taste could be there too. Which is kind of like saying, ah, it's also pretty fucking funky. Um, I wonder if it's, a, if it's a taste you had to learn to appreciate, because I had a lot to learn! <laughs> ah, I like this one. This is a cute little stab. Like when, I don't know what it's too late for. Lothers. You can just say that, by the way. Oh yeah, you don't say. Yeah, you only say later's under those circumstances, huh? Later's. You can just say that later's. Um, you say later, but you can say later's. I'll just make later. I mean, I could say later down, but fuck. I need to piece it so the timing is great! Is it all bottle? Mm, transitive split verbs! Oh my god! It is Obot. <gasps> oh no, it's Odd-Op. Yeah, it's split. Oh my god! It's video games. Dude, I've got to say one thing, though. It is really weird to be translating this. Um, you see, <sighs> the reason this is so weird is I'm constantly shifting between two languages. English, Dutch, English, Dutch. Gotta go to an English website. No, wait, I gotta go to a Dutch website. It's just fucking with my head. Ah, doing this for two more than a couple of hours at a time is just fucking with me. As you can see by me, by me just inserting English words for no reason more and more.
This is neat. It's like, are you all done? All done. Or it's basically what happens here. Gotta not reference food, because that's okay. Oh, I get another system before we leave. Oh, I can only say that it's not my thing. Works fine enough. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. It's like, yeah, you're not the only one who says that. Just in case it comes up. Nothing to say here. Fun fact, you haft, because not you haft, because it actually has a completely different version. Yeah, I haft. I haft. Yeah, it's like third person now. Fuck! I'm gonna make it taste just to give it a little geprobeerd because you tried it but you didn't taste it. Erg topper. Very brave. Now I'm just gonna call it. Yeah, because it has a little bit of spice to it. Fuck. I think it's with a D. Yeah, because, uh, F. Also, it's not gesproefd. <laughs> Gesproef. That's not a verb. Despite seeing so many similarities, gesproefd. Not one of them. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Oh, this is great. So, yeah, you've you've eaten it, you've tried it, and you've really just tried it. And the final one. And that's it. That is it. So, funny thing, you go from the cafe, which, to the facility, which, I, I don't know, is the facility in the city, though? It's implied to be in the city, I think. Maybe it's at the outskirts. But that's it. That's it. That's all there is. Ah! We are actually getting there. Uh, it's going to go real fast, because this huge chunk is all just a bunch of crap. Um, this is a bunch of crap that's going to be pretty easy to do, because the investigation is very flat and straightforward. I see a big bunch of chunks that are going to be kind of annoying to do. Um, oh, yeah, here's the pain meds. No razors. And <laughs> yeah! Next time, more. This is great. I love this. Can I just say that I love this? I love this. Just a little bit of talking, a little bit of dibbity dabbity doop, dibbity bobbity bee bee bobbity woo bobbity bee 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 bobbity